Welcome to my Code Signal playlist. Today, I'm going to solve the adjacent element for you on Code Signal. If you like this video, hit the like button. Ask me questions in the comment area. I am more than happy to help you. Let's get this one going. This task is called adjacent elements product. So I'm going to click on that one. It's an easy one. I've got my Jupyter Lab on the right side. It will help me to teach you how I'm solving this problem. And I've got the Code Signal on the left side. There is a function called solution that I need to fill in and I will get an input array from the user. Let's see what the task is. Given an array of integers, find the pair of adjacent elements that has the largest product and return that product. For example, if you have three, six, negative two, negative five, seven, and three, the output should be 21 because seven times three is greater than three times six, six times negative two, negative two times negative five, negative five times seven, and seven times three. 21 is the greatest of all those pairs. I will solve this problem the way a human brain works. In my head, when I'm trying to solve this problem, I am keeping a very negative value in my head or probably sometimes zero, but if you think about negatives, they are smaller than zero. So keep something very negative in your head as the max. And then whatever is greater than that, forget about that very small value and put the new big value in your head as the max. Keep doing it until you find the biggest value and then you say, hey, this is the biggest product. Maybe start with something very, very small and call it max product is the float value of negative infinity. So I'm just going to consider negative infinity as the biggest one so that anything bigger than negative infinity I find, I will say, hey, forget about negative infinity. And here you've got a new max. That's going to be my max product to start. Then what I will do, I will have to go through everything in this array of numbers, take them two by two, multiply them and compare it to my previous max product. So let me write a for loop. If you don't know how for loops work in Python, the link is up the top right. I will write a for loop and I'll tell you how I'm writing it. For i in range of length of what is input array? Yeah, it's called input array. I will take the length of input array, but remember, I don't want to go out of the array. In Python, we start counting from zero. If I go all the way to the length of the input array, I will jump out of the array. I can't do it. For example, if there are five numbers, I can't go to number six because I'll be out. There is no elements there. So let me just subtract by one. And now, and now I will introduce a new variable called product and it is the input array number i, which is the first one, times input array number i plus one. So for example, in the first round, I will take number three times number six. It will be 18 and it will be saved inside product. Let me just add spaces here for readability. Once I have done that, I will say my max product at this point of time, I want it to be, I want it to be the max between the previous max product and the product. What it means, it compares whatever the previous max product was, which is negative infinity, and the current one, which is three times six, 18, tells the machine which one is bigger negative infinity or 18. Of course, 18 is bigger than negative infinity. So 18 is written on max product. So the next time round, it comes down with 18 inside max product, and it will multiply six times negative two, which is negative 12, and then performs the comparison is 18 greater or negative 12. 18 is greater. So it goes to the next round and it keeps doing until we have the max product written and the loop is done. All we need to do from there is just to return the max product. So look at this. I will say print the max product, which is good. And what I will do, I will say input array equals this value. I just want to show you that this works and you will see 21 is the answer. So if you liked this video, hit the like button and leave a comment with your question and subscribe to my channel because I'm building a lot of videos for you to learn Python, data science, AI, ML, and everything. So let's take this into our function. I will copy this line first, and then I will copy these lines next. Instead of print, I will have to 
return max product. The problem is I need to move them to the front because of indentation, run the tests again. And you can see that nine out of nine tests are run successfully. Let's submit it. And I have unlocked the commoner badge. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to my channel and stay tuned.